Lincoln Public Schools will not have a universal mask mandate in place when students return to class here in less than three weeks from now. That's one of the big updates coming out of the latest school board meeting where district leaders also discuss safety and security following the tragedy in Uvalde. We'll have much more on that in just 30 minutes, but for now we want to go live to Channel A's Daniel Kaiser with what you and your little ones should expect as COVID cases across our area still number in the hundreds. Danielle. Good Good morning. The big takeaway from the new superintendent is that LPS will be taking a targeted approach this school year, which begins August 15th. Superintendent Paul Gossman says it's important to keep in mind that it's a very large district, so what's working for one school may not work in another. We're told that the goal is to keep our schools open and safe by following a science and data. Gossman also stresses decisions will not be made based on the passion of an email. And we need to use this opportunity to model for our students how adults work together in a challenging situation to communicate and handle that challenging situation in life. And so again, I'll state that we're going to begin the year. Gosman adds everyone is more than welcome to wear a mask if they feel it's necessary. School board member and medical expert Dr. Bob Rahner also spoke about universal masking. He says one of the biggest reasons for it was our hospitals being at capacity. The other big reason is that not everyone was able to get vaccinated. Neither of those issues are at this point. Dr. Ronner also says LPS cannot give us a threshold right now on what would bring a mask mandate back. He says there's a lot of variables in play and they're continuing to work with the health department to help make sure they make the best decisions possible.